A new report out from Fidelity says there's now a record number of savers with at least $1 million in their retirement accounts, and that surpasses the third quarter 2018 all-time high. The report says contribution, contra- contribution rates and increases also have hit record levels. I'm going to bring in David Bonson uh, as the CIO of the Bonson Group on this. You know, I, I love when I hear this, David, because I, I feel like there are people who, who committed to this. Uh, they stayed through it. They stayed through the uh, lows, the Great Recession. They didn't miss a beat, and now they're being rewarded for it. Well, they sure are. And they not only were saving through the lows of the Great Recession, but that's where a whole lot of the money that they've made came from, was that they got a chance for a year and a half period during that great bear market to buy things on sale. And we can never forget when you're an accumulator, buy low. Buy low. Uh, I I heard that one before. You know, I I did some research on this this morning. And you know, obviously, uh, the, the, the folks at the bottom 25 percentile of incomes have the less, the fewest, the less access to, uh, to these kind of retirement funds, particularly from employers and uh, even as low as participation rates. And there's been talk in the past about somehow the government getting involved to make that, to fix that. Is there any kind of way other than marketing to, to sort of get uh, the, the lowest and second lowest wage earnings to, to participate more? Yeah, I mean, the way that I have seen it be successful, and we've had experience at this in our own business, there are restaurants, for example, that have a lot of lower compensation employees that are maybe are not used to an investment program. They get kind of intimidated by it. And you have to come in and do education. You have to give information. It has to be done on a consultative basis. The idea of the government getting involved in it is only going to go one way, and it's not well. What will happen over time is that there will be more information available. And as we've already seen, these 401k plans have gotten better. There's better investment options. There's more clarity. They're more simple now. And it's a a really viable option. The thing that hurts the bottom uh, level of employees is not just simply that they may not make enough money to contribute a lot to a retirement plan. It's that there's so many people in the culture, usually limousine liberals, saying, let's just make them a ward of the welfare state. Right. If we stop this sort of entitlement social safety net, there will be more private market activity in these programs that, as you pointed out, are giving people greater wealth. Uh, David, uh, at the start of the day, uh, we were told the administration looking at uh, uh, perhaps uh, doing something with payroll tax cuts and also changing the way capital gains were taxed uh, sort of with indexing. President Trump was asked about that about an hour ago. I want to share his response with you and then get your take on it. I'm not looking to do indexing. I've studied indexing for a long time. I think it will be perceived if I do it as somewhat elitist. I don't want to do that. I want taxes for the, the middle class, the workers, the people that work so hard. That's what I'm looking. I think indexing is really probably better for the upper income groups. So, so your thoughts as, as someone who, who really preaches investing, 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 uh, is it elitist? Would it be elitist to index capital gains tax uh, to inflation? God, no, it most certainly would not be. It's a really disappointing answer from the president because I've never understood him to be someone who's concerned with how things are perceived. And that's what he just said is he's worried about it being perceived as elitist. It's economically pro-growth pro-growth policies that build wealth and a rising tide lifting all boats. In this particular case, it's also economically fair. People are paying capital gain taxes on gains that they never actually achieved, that were washed away from the tax that is inflation. So this was very sensible policy, and it was on the table just a couple days ago. People, senior folks in administration were telling me this was coming. So the president appears to have changed his mind very recently yeah. on it, and I'm disappointed. Well, maybe, maybe if he wins re-election uh, and doesn't have to worry about uh, running again. But politically, it might have been, been a landmine politically. David, thank you very much. Really appreciate it.